After arriving in Oakland and getting Julia tied up safe and sound at the dock at Jack London Marina, we immediately started prepping to cross the Pacific. We spent some time going over route planning and how to download weather grip files. We also went out sailing in San Francisco Bay to practice sail handling and spent the nights exploring the waterfront and watching the sailboat races. We've been in Oakland for a few days now, prepping Julia for the jump off to Hawaii. We're mostly done with projects. <laughs> so now we get a, a we get day, a bonus day, <laughs> a bonus day to go explore San Francisco. Yeah. Time to go take the ferry, huh? Yes, we're gonna take the ferry. Boats, boats, boats. <laughs> Made it to San Francisco, and of course, the first thing we have to try, riding the trolley. <laughs> Definitely. What are you taking pictures of? Coit Tower. Coit Tower? We're going up to Coit Tower. Are we now? Did I mention that it's 440 stairs? Oh all the way dear up? lord. <laughs> no. But it's a nice day. It's going to be a good view. Yeah. Better be worth it. <laughs> 1, 42, 43, 44, <laughs> 45, 46, 7, 48. Are we there yet? Getting distracted. <laughs> Shiny thing person. Shiny thing. Oh, that's a view there. Yeah? Too shabby. So, how did you find out about the Coit Tower? So, I read a time travel article on 10 things to do in San Francisco, and it said that every city has its phallic monument, oh and God. Coit Tower is it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, San Francisco. My legs were definitely feeling all 440 stairs by the time we got up to the Coit Tower. The climb was worth it though, as the view from the top was incredible, and the tower was pretty interesting itself. It was built in 1933 and had lots of awesome frescoes painted by local artists. Though I wasn't particularly complaining that an elevator was available to take us up to the top for the view. What do you think, babe? Thank you. Not too bad, huh? Yeah, it's a lot to see. And I guess like the we're just up so high, you can see everything. It's pretty neat. Yeah. 
we have now seen San Francisco's phallic tower. Where are we going next? We are going to Pier 39, not for like all the touristy crap, but to see the sea lions. So also for some touristy crap, but. <laughs> <laughs> not your carnival touristy crap, not your money trap touristy crap. It's true. Yeah. Apparently we just can't get enough sea lions, but no. <laughs> as long as they're not hanging out up on our trampoline. Shitting on our boat. Thank you. <laughs> it's all good. Game of Thrones out there. <laughs> Everyone's fighting for the throne, apparently. I didn't think there would be this many here. And like half of them are really lazy, just sunning, and half of them are like loud fighting battle sea lions. Cersei Lannister. Cersei Lannister. Some of the sea lions seem to talk a big game, but couldn't quite be bothered to actually do anything. Once I was finally able to tear Amy away from the sea lions, it was time for lunch. And that could only mean one thing, Chinatown. And first one here in what, San Francisco? Yeah. First dim sum house in the USA. What did you think of all the dim sum? Delicious. Yeah. Yeah. Clean plates all around. Yeah. All gone. <laughs> you have sesame seed. <laughs> Damn beard. No. Mm. There you go. Oh, now it's there. <laughs> you got it. With our dim sum craving satisfied, it was back on the trolley to go explore one last part of San Francisco. Or a door. What part of San Francisco do we find ourselves in now? We are in Castro. Why is Castro famous? Castro is famous because it's like like the gay beacon here. I mean, it's the uh, rainbow it's flags proud. everywhere. <laughs> so we're headed up to the Harvey Milk um, Plaza, is what they call it, after the gay rights activists, and then we're gonna do a little walking tour and go get a hot cookie. A hot cookie. Oh yeah. <laughs> So who is Harvey Milk? Harvey Milk was the first elected gay politician in California. And he worked for a lot of civil rights and gay rights and then was assassinated pretty young. So they have a memorial for him here and everything he's done for San Francisco and the rest of the world. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it is pretty cool. Ooh, that looks good. What, what is that? Fudge Packer. Uh, of course it is. That doesn't look very phallic shaped. But it's very chocolatey. Don't worry, you got a nice uh, phallic shape right on your uh, on your shoulder there. Sexy underwear. And on that note, it was time to wrap up our San Francisco adventure. I feel we've ended up right back where we started. <laughs> 
Yeah, <laughs> found our ferry terminal again. Yep. It's Beautiful about sunset. At night. It's still light outside. How about yeah. that? What a day. Yeah. What a, good a day. day. Hey everyone. First of all, there was a bunch of interest in seeing the presentation that we gave, so I am working on editing it. We will try to get it up, I think, once our adventures on Julia are done, so keep an eye out for that. Hope you guys enjoyed a little day adventure in San Francisco. The next uh, adventure is going to be crossing the Pacific, so we will be back to sailing. And a quick little announcement, we have decided to do some Out Chasing Stars t-shirts, mostly because we wanted some finally, but we figured we would open it up so if anyone else is interested in it, you can uh, buy one. There will be a link down in the description below where you can go check them out. It'll be available for a limited time, so don't wait. Um, yeah, so thanks for checking out the video, and we'll see you next time.